discussion. Here we are going to discuss about default routing and static routing. First of all, routing is a process of moving a packet from one network to the other network by means of a device known as a router in the shortest distance path. Okay. So first thing we are going to discuss is a static routing. Here we'll specify a path to a router to reach its destination network. For example, if I want to reach a 100 network from router 0, I will manually specify the route to the router 0. For example, uh, if you want to uh, reach this 100 network, your next hope should be router 1. So uh, uh, it, it, go, it should go through 2002. So this will be specified in the static route. Where else? In default route. The default route is a special type of a static route. So we'll specify a route to a router to reach its unknown network, unknown destination. For example, the router 0 does, doesn't learn this 100 network. So if I want to reach this 100 network, the next hope should be this router 1. That is, that in the default route, we'll specify a path to a router, how to reach its unknown destination. Okay. In this scenario, we are going to we are going to see how it works. So now, what we are going to do is we are going to configure a default route from this router and a static route from this router. So one more thing is, for directly connected networks, we no need to specify any routes. For example, for this router, these two networks are directly connected. 10, 10 network and a 20.000 network are directly connected. And as well as for a router one, these three connections are directly connected. So we no need to specify routes for these things. So what now I'm going to do here is, that is from router zero, first of all, I'm going to configure terminal. IP, this is the syntax for that default route. The syntax for default route and static route will be similar, but there is small changes in that. So IP route 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0, that is whatever network it is. And the subnet mask also 0 .0 0.0.0.0. Okay, should reach the next hope 20.0.0.2. This is the syntax for the default routing. That is, if I want to reach the uh, 100 network or whatever network, if I apart from the directly connected network, whatever network, if I want to reach, the next hope should be this router. This is what it means. Okay. You see now, show IP route. So these two are statically connected. Sorry, these two are directly connected. That is the 10 network and 20 network is directly connected. And statically we had uh, provided default routing. So this is what. So the next thing is from here, from router one, we are going to do static routing to reach the 100 network and 150 network because this two is already directly connected. So we no need to specify routing for this. So from if you want to reach this 100.0.0 network and 150.0.0 network from router 1, we need to specify routing IP. So this is the syntax for static routing IP route and the destination network that is 100.0.0.0 and its subnet mask 255.255.255.0 should go through the next hop that is 3002. What it means is from here, that's from router one, if I want to reach the 100 network, the next hop should be 3002. So as like the same, if I want to reach 
this 150 network the next hope should be 40 0, 0 to this interface so if i want to reach this network either this pc or this interface the next hope it should goes through is this interface which has the ip address of 40 0, 0, 2. IP root 150.0.0.0 nothing but a destination network and subnet mask 255.255.255.0 it should goes through 40.0.0.0.2 that's a next hope address show IP root okay now if you see these three networks are directly connected network that is this 20 network 2000 network and 3000 network and 4000 network or a directly connected networks we have in, we have not uh, specified any routes but it automatically learned here this 100 00 slash 24 and 150 slash 24 we have statically assigned okay So now the static route has been successfully configured. Let's see. Uh, as we have configured static route from here to reach this uh, 100 network and uh, 150 network, we'll check. Ping 150.0.0.0. It's pinging, right? And I select the same. 150.0.0.0. Click the same, we'll ping from here. So now we are pinging. Sorry. So now we are pinging from this PC to this router. It will ping because we have statically mentioned a route how to reach these networks. So select the same. Let's now check the default route uh, from router zero. We have already configured a default route, so we'll ping and network. It won't ping. It won't reachable because here we have configured default route. Whatever destination it comes, it should reach the uh, next hop like this. But so uh, due to this, this will reach the hundred zero zero one. But when it comes back, when it sends back the replay message, this router have not learned the router 0. So now we need to specify a route. Either we can put default route here also, or else we can statically configure a static route. Static route. IP root. So destination network is 10. Sorry, destination network is 20. 0, 0, 0, submit mask is, sorry, 255, 255.255.0 and the next hope it should re reach is this 30.0.0.1. So if we try now, it will work. Have you seen? As like the same, if we try to reach this network, this will this will reach this 150 network. But if we want to replay message from this 150 network, we need to again configure routing for this 20 network. So here again we'll configure a default route IP route 000, 0, 0, 0 should reach the next hook is 40.0.0.1 so now if we try to reach this 150.0.0 network it will reach I think so this is how it works so when a packet moves from here, it makes use of this default route what we have configured. So once it reaches this this, this router, it makes use of the static route what we have configured and reaches the destination and gets back the replay. Thanks for watching this video.